All right, good morning. Thanks everyone for attending. Uh, my name is William Steele. I'm an associate consultant here at IBIS. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about creating and applying product templates. I do have a brief PowerPoint posted and it will be posted along with this webinar. And then I'll be switching back and forth to a AX image we have uh, locally in-house to show some examples. So just giving you a heads up that the demo data will be all over the place. So today we're going to start with uh, just a review of the different types of products in AX. We're going to move into working and creating those products. And then we're going to finally finish up with creating the product templates and the different usages in creating uh, usages with those templates. So there's two types of products in AX. The first one is just called product. Um, and again, you can see here, product is a uniquely identifiable product. It serves as a core product that does not vary and therefore no has, has no dimensions uh, associated with that definition. So basically a product is going to be the exact same thing every single time. For example, it's going to be a white coffee cup. There's not going to be any blue ones or red ones. It's going to be white, same dimensions, same uh, bill of materials every single time. Um, product master uh, is going to be a standard of functional product representation that is the basis for configuring product variants. Um, you can read the rest of that. So basically, uh, product master means you're going to have uh, kind of and a product and then you can have what's called product variants associated with that product master which means if you're looking at pens you could have red pins, blue pins, black pins um, so those would be product variants off of the product master which would just be basically a, a pen so I'm going to switch over to my image of AX quickly So all the information surrounding products is found in the product information management module in AX. And under the common area, you can see the drop down for products. So we have all products and product masters, just a list of products and just a list of product masters. I typically uh, go to all product and product masters just because I want to see everything. Creating a new product is what I'm just going to talk about briefly. So you can come up here to the top left hand corner. There's a new product button. You can select that. And you can select the product subtype, which again is a product or product master. I'm going to go with product. And you can enter in your product number or product name. If you go with product master, you have down here um, some of the product dimension groups which should be set up before uh, entering uh, product master and then you have additional items here which are called configuration technologies I'm going to hop back quickly to my PowerPoint so configuration technologies for product masters there's four different types predefined variant dimension based configuration rule based configuration and constraint based configuration. Uh, I'm not going to take the time here to talk about all of these, but I did include this slide for anybody that was curious about um, the configuration product technologies for product masters. And again, I included my little example slide of product, product master, and product variant. I am actually drinking out of that skull coffee cup right now. All right, so I'm going to hop back over into AX. Um, all right, so I'm going to create my products. I'll give it a product number. So then auto populate it as the name. You can change the name if you want. And then create the products. So now. I have my test product here. Before I can do anything with templates or product templates, you have to release the product first. So I'm going to go to the release products button. And this is where navigation can be a little 
tricky. You may think that this is actually selected currently. It's not. You actually have to use the checkbox to select that product to release it to the company that you want to select it for. I'm currently in CEU. So now I've selected the product that I just created, selected the company that I want it to be released to. Click OK. So now if I go back to your release products, I see my um, product I just created here for the webinar that I just released. And now I have the option to create a template based on this product that I just created. Personal templates will be assigned to your individual user. A shared template will be across all users. I typically do um, all users because more often than not, other people want to access your templates unless you're just t creating thousands of them. So I'm going to create my template so I can name it so I know what it is. Click OK. And now I have successfully created a product template in AX2012. Now, I've also said I would talk about some of the usages of these templates. Um, there's two different ways to use templates for products in AX. If one way is, is you can apply a template to an existing product, or when creating a new product, you can use uh, the template during creation. Applying a template to a current product is easy. Um, you can see the button right here on the one I just created. If I click that, it brings up all of the um, previous templates that I have saved for products. What needs to be known about this apply to template option is um, if you're going to apply to existing, some of the parameters for the product template and the product you're applying it to must be the same. And those parameters include product type, subtype, and configuration technologies. So, uh, configuration technology. So if those aren't um, the same between your product and your product template, the template won't won't apply uh, correctly. The other way is when you're creating new products from the released products screen. So again, I'm going to say that you have to create to use the templates. You have to create a new product from your released products. And now you can see down here under uh, administration that I have the apply template option. And then if I click that and give it a new product number, there we go. I'll have a brand new um, product and I'll be all set. So um, let's say you've successfully created lots and lots and lots of templates and you want to delete some of them and clean it up. You will go to um, home area page. You will go under setup to record templates. And then here's where you can edit, delete, remove, uh, take actions on um, your templates, set defaults. So again, this screen is under your home area page, set up uh, record templates. And this is where you control other templates that you've created uh, for like customers, vendors uh, as well. So I'm gonna hop back over to my slideshow. So that's basically what I just did in creating the product. Here's just a couple slides that serve as a reminder for everybody. And that's all I have for today. And again, my email is posted there in that last slide. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me at wsteel at ibisinc.com.